Hey, you are probably wondering what we're doing outside and with a skateboard upgrade. Well, the Ripple Drop is taking it to the streets this episode. It's gonna be really cool. Check it out. Tell me about Omni. Um, what are you guys doing? What's your mission long-term with the company? Sure, we're looking to connect the whole world through things, right? So we started with this idea of storage and collecting things, and now we're building out an entire rentals marketplace. So there's a world in which everything that you have, you should be able to connect with other people, and other people should be able to use those things as well. So if you have a bike and you're not using it, someone else can use it when you're not using it. And now you can also make money on top of that. I recently read you guys have incorporated XRP, the digital asset, into your yep. platform. Um, what does that do for your platform, and what does that do for Omni users? We think long term that we are kind of a bank, and so instead of just having assets that you think of like fiat currencies, like uh, dollars and yen, we have bikes and books and, and uh, camping equipment, and those are actually assets. It became very clear that this could be a great tool for both providing fast, rapid liquidity for uh, sort of cashing out the capital that you make through the rental side, as well as in the future, connecting individuals quickly with those assets. Spring's objective, what are you guys trying to do? And so Spring is really an initiative to focus on new use cases for XRP and XRP Ledger outside of cross-border payments. What kind of companies are you guys looking at? Um, what's the future look like? So for Spring, we're focused on, on a couple of different, different things. As I mentioned, XRP payments um, is an important one. I think the other area uh, that we're spending some time digging into is looking at the tokenization of, of real-world assets. New use cases for XRP. What does that do to global liquidity? Yeah, it's it's incredibly accretive to global growth of liquidity, especially for XRP, if it's being used in those flows. If you look at other markets, the driving force of FX liquidity is not speculation, it's not liquidity provisioning by market participants, it's the use of that liquidity by real businesses. The more liquidity you have, the tighter spreads, the more efficient XRapid and XRP end up being.